Today, we're living in life where the world is experiencing a very fast technological development. Technology has changed so many things in our lives. Everything becomes easier and faster. Rapid technological advances bring major changes in every aspect of life. One of the most influential is the development of communication and information technology. Communication and information technology is developing almost every day. We can see this by the existence of various gadgets and social media that continue to evolve to become increasingly sophisticated. Social media used by almost everyone, mostly by children and teenagers of school age. According to Data Indonesia.id, in Indonesia, the age group of 13 to 18 years old are the most social media users, and most of them are students. The percentage reaches 99.16 persons during 2021 and 2022, and it affects their lives. The honorable judges and audiences, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Oriza Nafila Agrah and I'm from MTS Negeri Salahinda. It is a blessing from Allah that I can be here standing in front of you in the final round of Madina Expression Speech Competition. In this special opportunity, I would like to share my opinion through a speech entitled How Social Media Affects Students' Social Life. My fellow students, are there any of you who have never heard about social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, and TikTok? No. No? Yeah, I think everybody has heard about them, and everybody has at least one of them. The rapid growth of social media has a big role in life in this digital era. With more than 3.6 billion users worldwide, social media has revolutionized our lives. It can be beneficial in helping us in some aspect. The example is that social media, used as the main tool for a long distance learning process during the COVID-19 pandemic, social media also makes it easier for us to get various information and helps to do homework or school assignments without having to interact directly with other people. Another benefit of this technology is this makes long distance communication easier. Distance is no longer a problem if you want to communicate with friends or relatives who are out of town or abroad. Social media lets you connect with many people from all over the world. We can easily get acquainted with new people no matter how far they are through social media. Some people say that social media makes everything closer and united. But, ladies and gentlemen, despite all the positive consequences, the rapid growth of social media also brings negative impact on students' life. The easier access to information, the more information we get, the more influence can be obtained. And unfortunately, not all influences are positive. Causes by social media Lots of students end up addicted to pornography. Some of them believe in and participate in spreading fake news, and some of them become the victims or even do cyberbullying. Beside that, social media also can bring negative impact on human social interaction. The ease of long distance interaction makes people unwilling to meet in person, face to face with each other and this will get worse when they are already dependent on social media. An experiment conducted by the University of British Columbia showed that smartphones and social media remove social connection between students. Social media makes communication easier and least afraid, and people will naturally go for the path of least afraid, so that they will choose their smartphones better than interact directly in a social interaction. My dear audiences, we often see people who gather in one place but not talking to each other. They are busy with their smartphones, maybe playing online games or talking to people who are far away so that they ignore what is around them. This is what we call social media, brings those who are far closer 
and it senses those who are near. This is where social media is becoming addictive, and this is detrimental because social media addiction causes negative impacts on our offline lives. Internet and social media addiction make students more individualistic because they rarely interact with each other. It also leads to more isolation and a greater feeling of loneliness, and even causes antisocial behavior. That is a very dangerous and unhealthy condition. To be healthy, we need real people in our real lives. We are humans. Humans are social. Social connection is very crucial for us because it provides emotional happiness, boosts our immune systems, and relieves your stress, so we can live our life to the fullest. The honorable judges and audiences. The conclusion from some points that I conveyed is that social media has positive and negative impacts on students' social lives. Technology is actually created for good and is very useful, but to get the benefits, it requires wisdom in using it. To protect ourselves from dependence and other bad consequences, we must be able to find a healthy balance between online life and offline life. Use social media wisely and in moderation. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to close this speech with these motivational words from Richard Branson. Don't be a slave of technology. Manage your phone, don't let it manage you. I'm Aliza. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good morning, Aliza. Okay. Um, thank you so much for the speech that you have delivered. Then I'd like to ask questions. Um, what is the social connections for you? What do you think social? Uh, what do you think social connection is? Uh, social connection for me is. Um, we can communicate and interact with other people, even like well, in long distances. So I think long distances are no longer a problem. That is from social interaction. Thank you so much. Um, you also have a lot of friends from uh, social media, like mega new friends. Yes, of course. Okay. So um, in here, um, you write about that social media makes everything. And also, you mentioned about that it uh, removes social connection. So it's kind of confusing for me because um, that's why I ask about what is the social connection means for you. So um, can you explain about this that you write that social media makes everything closer and connected, but uh, it removes the social connection? But you think? But you just mentioned too that social connections can have, uh, you can make a friend uh, even though that they are far away from you. Can you answer the question? Um, as I said before, that social media uh, give negative impacts and also positive impacts. It depends on the users actually. So, um, social media actually can give positive impacts. We can make friends from all over the world and know people. Uh, from all over the world. So, as I say, like uh, social media can remove social connection uh, between people. It means that it depends on the users. The users may be like using the social media too much, so uh, he, so they prefer to make friends with uh, smartphones rather than real people. 